Hello and welcome to all. In this video session, we will learn about Vendor Master Dual Control Functionality in SAP. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our My Support Solutions YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the latest and free updates after every new video upload. If you like this video, then please click on the like button. Also, you can share our video. Now, we'll start the topic. So first we'll take example and then we'll do practical. Our company is ABC Limited. In our accounts department, we have one person working as a accounts assistant and one person as accounts manager. This is only for example. Now for our company, the terms of payment or payment terms is very sensitive field. What is our requirement? Our requirement is any change in the sensitive field of vendor master record while creation or change should be approved by accounts manager. In other words, let's say our accounts assistant has created a new vendor master and he or she add payment terms. So this is a case of a creation. Or let's say we already have vendor master and our accounts assistants has changed the payment terms then it can be a case of a change. In such case, the change should be approved by accounts manager. Okay. So to fulfill this requirement, we have to follow these three practical steps. First, define sensitive fields for dual control vendors. Second, change the vendor master because we have already created our vendor. And third, confirm vendor master change. So now we will do practicals. We will follow these three steps one by one. I will minimize this. Now SPRO. This is our first step. SPRO. Enter. First step is to define sensitive fields for dual control vendors. Click on IMG. Financial accounting, accounts receivable and accounts payable, vendor accounts, master data, preparations for creating vendor master data, and define sensitive fields for dual control vendors. Click on the execute. Now, here see account type is K that is vendors. So click on the new entries, field name LFB1 Z term. This field name is for terms of payment because we require our sensitive field terms of payment or payment terms. Okay. Now Click on the save. Continue. So we have complete our first step that is uh, define sensitive fields for dual control vendors. And in this step, we have defined terms of payment or payment terms as our sensitive field. Okay. Now, second step change vendor master. So we will use the transaction code XK02. This is our second step slash nxk02 enter to change the vendor master company code 1000 purchasing organization is 1000 and we have to select the payment transactions because uh, we want to change the terms of payment so the terms of payment is available in the payment transactions so vendor code, uh, vendor number is 23, press enter. And now we will change our payment terms. See right now, uh, we have already assigned our uh, payment terms as a triple zero one. So we'll change these payment terms and we will observe the information message which will be given by our system. So we will select the triple zero two, let's say payment term, continue. 
now save now see this is a information message that change to company code 1000 must be confirmed why this message because we have changed sensitive field from triple zero one payment term to triple zero two payment term okay now click on the continue changes have been made okay so second step also completed now third and last step that is confirm vendor master change so for this we will use a transaction code fk08 for single confirmation slash n fk08 press enter and here we have to give our vendor number and company code but we have to keep in mind that uh, in this step of fk08 our user id should be different than the user id of account assistant let's say our account assistance our account assistant has made some change in sensitive field payment terms in our vendor master and that change will be confirmed by accounts manager as we have already discussed before okay so the user id of our account assistant will be different and the user id of our account manager will be different okay so fk08 will be used by accounts manager so here we have to give our vendor number company code okay confirm change vendor press enter now let's see the current status is to be confirmed okay so we can confirm or we can refuse okay so ideally in our case or in our example account manager will confirm or refuse so click on the confirm that the status will be changed to confirmed now see status has been changed to confirm okay now save changes have been made okay so that's all for now in this video thank you for watching keep in touch and bye bye